just knowing its name is something that you stuck to, is it? Yes, of course. It's, we have to learn. These are kind of disciplines in the field of science that you have to learn. That to know when you know and when you don't know and what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And it's uh, you've got to be very careful not to confuse yourself. How else did you try and progress. mold your methods of thinking, the way you looked at the world? Well, we had a lot of uh, little games, like he would say at the dinner table. He'd think of some little problem. And he'd say, suppose we were, you were a Martian, you were Martians, and we came down to this earth, that, and we'd look at it from the outside. And that, I can't explain exactly what he meant, but there's a way of looking something anew as if you never saw it before, for the first time, and asking questions about it as if you were different. For instance, uh, suppose you were a Martian who never slept. They didn't have sleep. You didn't have to sleep. And you came down to this earth and you saw these people had this funny property that every day for a certain amount of time had to lie down and become unconscious. And then the natural question would be, how does it feel to get unconscious? Uh, what happens to you? Ideas run along and suddenly they stop? Or do they just run more and more slowly? But what happens to your ideas? How does it feel to become unconscious? So I tried to answer the question. What happens when you become unconscious? Playing in the field. And then one kid said to me, uh, see that bird? What kind of a bird is that? And I said, uh, I haven't the slightest idea what kind of a bird it is. He says, it's a brown-throated throated thrush or something. He says, your father doesn't tell you anything. But it was the opposite. My father had taught me, looking at a bird, he says, do you know what that bird is? It's a brown-throated thrush. But in Portuguese, it's a hontarapero. In Italian, a chutera piquita. He says in Chinese, it's a chumontó. In Japanese, a patara tokorecha, etc. He says, now they know all the languages you want to know what the name of that bird is. And when you're finished with all that, he says, you'll know absolutely nothing whatever about the bird. You only know about humans in different places and what they call the bird. Now, he says, let's look at the bird and what it's doing. You asked me if an ordinary person, by studying hard, would get to be able to imagine these things like I imagine. Of course, I was an ordinary person who studied hard. There's no miracle people. It just happens they got interested in this thing and they learned all this stuff. They're just people. There's no talent, a special miracle ability to understand quantum mechanics or a miracle ability to imagine electromagnetic fields that comes without practice and reading and learning and study. So if you say, you take an ordinary person who's willing to devote a great deal of time and study and work and thinking and mathematics and time, then he's become a scientist. 